Hi, this is Ingenious Artist, and on today, uh, on today's video, I'm gonna show you a tutorial on Google Web Designer. So, uh, Code Canyon has just opened a category in HTML5, which is uh, Add Templates, and well, Google Web Designer is a tool that can make Add Templates using uh animation uh tools so uh if you can animate like uh if you can uh, use photoshop to animate and make it into a gif file well google web designer is almost like the same thing and except for that they will make html5 templates and uh, it will have JavaScript and CSS transitions and stuff. So back to Google Web Designer. Uh, you can download the tool here, uh, google.com slash web designer. And it's still in beta, but uh, you can work with it a lot. And uh, you can do pretty cool things with that. So I'm going to show you on today's video how to add, uh, edit my templates or HTML5 add templates and make it your own. So at first we shall see what kind of uh, things you might get in my add template. So here we have our preview files which are HTML5 files and uh, with the PNG assets of course and here's the PSD files with all the PSD and the JPG to show you what it might look like after the animation. So uh, I've given here three sizes, skyscraper, medium rectangle, and leaderboard. And uh, on the preview files, there are also three previews, and also source files has three source files. So what you need to do, uh, you can make the mock-up in the PSD or edit it or anything. Uh, I just made the PSD first because uh, I've exported the phone and the flash and the buttons and logo uh, to Google Web Designers to make my workflow easier. So you can edit the PSD and do it yourself because I've given all, all of the source files and everything I've included or shown in my preview. and you can check out the preview file so the animation kind of looks like this uh, i'm going with skyscraper so here are all the assets and this is the index file which is the html5 add template so you open the index file in any browser and the ad will show up and you can see all the css transitions but first comes from here and here and here and mobile comes and then you can see the flash and Here's the Google Play and App Store buttons, which you can click and go to Google Play or any other thing you would like. So this is a template. This is not a real ad. Uh, you can buy this item on Code Canyon and you can just download it and edit it to your needs and, you know, get your camera app on display on many other sites. So the animation kind of looks like this and uh, the camera will come and there will be a flash which will attract the buyer or customer or maybe normal people and will increase your conversion rate also uh, there's red which is a really saturated color and so it will help you attract attention on any website possible with white background you can get this dark contrast great contrast and you know the attention will go there and also with the flash so people will see your ad more um said the technical things so yeah uh here's the preview of my item and then back to editing so you go to the source files and you have all these json files javascript files and css html files so what you need to do is, after installing Google Web Designer, it will something look like this. So you have to sign up and uh, go to your account if you want to publish it to Google Drive. Uh, but you don't really need to, so 
yeah so at first go to file and then open file and then you go to your uh, this folder which you have downloaded and then go to source files and select something within this like sketch scraper and sketch scraper there will be the html5 file which can only be opened and none of the assets can be opened so you have to open only the html file and after you open the html file it looks something like this and here are all the text and things and this is kind of like the uh, animation window on photoshop so there's also timeline but timeline is kind of tricky because you have to worry about frames but on the advanced mode which is the keyframe mode uh, you don't really have to worry about a thing so the frames kind of look like this but you don't really have to worry about that we're going to switch to advanced mode where all the key keyframes are present and stuff so here uh, you can see they're all this is the starting point of the app so they're all outside and starting point is red so after if you show the preview it's like red and then everything comes here and flash and the buttons here and logo i mean app icon so you go to google web designer and then you will see all these layers and div tags so as i've exported uh, the images from photoshop it will come as image tag and this will be the diff tag which is background so background is a diff tag and you can edit the colors of the background on properties tab here so you click on properties and you go to style and you can see there's a background color here and you can change the color from there and after this uh, there are google play and app store buttons uh, which you can change to maybe windows store or anything so you can just change the thing and uh, make a tap area we'll get to that later so after this this is the phone body and app logo icon and flash camera flash led uh, and here are all the text so if you can see i have this uh, retro 3d ish look uh, which is like a orange shadow on a red background uh, I've done this by making three text layers. So first one is white and the other two is a bit nudged down below and uh, to the right to give that uh, 3D-ish effect. Uh, you can just put the color orange on this shadow one and shadow two and then the 3D effect will really pop out on the red. And uh, so you can see uh, the white text is called but first white and then the shadow there are two shadows to make the 3d effect more you know smooth um, so there are two shadows one nudged only a bit and the other one is nudged farther so uh, after this there are flash flicker which is a diff tag um, this is like the whole background but white and it will flicker like when you press the flash I mean when you press the button and it will go like this white thing so uh, that's the flash flicker and the flash one is the star type shape which comes at first this flash so this is the star type shape and then uh, the whole white background is flash flicker so back to editing uh, you can uh, edit the text by using the text tool right here. It's D, mark with D. So you can just click on that and use the text tool. And uh, the buttons are all there. And what you need to do is select a tap area. So you can make tap areas from here. Uh, components. You just click tap area and drag it over here. So you can just drag it over there and make a tap area on here. I've just made tap areas on the Google Play and the App Store buttons. And after you make the tap area, you have to go to properties and give it a name, the like component properties. I've written Apple Store tap area and also an element ID. So after you've written those, um, you have to go to events and create new tap area. I have a tap area right here. 
uh, two events on two tap areas, one for Apple Store and one for Google Play. So uh, when you make a tap area, you go to this plus sign right here and this thing will pop up. So you have to select target, like which uh, which element should I press to do this event. So you have to select Google Play tap area right here and then uh, it will move to event where you have to select under the tab area touch or click and then it will go to action and then you have to select google add where there is exit so they uh, the uh, the people who are viewing this ad when they click it uh, it will exit to a new tab and then the receiver is this apple store tab area it's gwd add uh, so it's kind of the same for both uh, you just have to click it and then after configurations you have to select metrics ID you, you just type exit add and put the URL of your app in Google Play or App Store and then save so that's about it for the links and now for the keyframes if you're unfamiliar with keyframes there's a really good tutorial of the Google web designer on Web Design Tools Plus. Uh, you can also find it on their YouTube. So um, that video will show you all the basics of Google Web Designer, and I think it's really helpful. And you can understand a lot about this tool, and you can make uh, you can edit the ads perfectly. So keyframe, uh, you can see there are uh, big fat lines and some uh, really thin lines. So thin lines means time delay, and the fat lines is where they work. So uh, keyframe is on starting of the keyframe, like but first white. Uh, when you see this, it will come from above. So what I did is uh, the first keyframe, which is here, that black triangle. So you have to select it, and it will go all the way up here. And on the last one, it will all come all the way up here. So keyframes are like uh, you have to choose the initial and final position of your element and then the movement will occur so you can pretty much do anything with the keyframe like uh you go to properties and increase or decrease the opacity uh which is uh how i made the app store logo right here and the google play buttons it will just uh go from zero opacity to 100 opacity uh after the flicker so you can choose opacity border and lots of different styles and movements like rotation or uh, even 3d uh, you can do 3d on Google web designer too uh, it's done completely with CSS so uh, it'll scale down uh, for sure and so that's about keyframes and here's the flash flicker so I've added three keyframes here and the time delay so it'll flicker right here uh, up to this point. It will be zero opacity, and on here it will be hundred opacity, and then on zero opacity again. So this is how it works, and this will show you something like this and flicker. Uh, so I think I've covered uh, almost all of the things. Uh, there are layers and master layer. Uh, you don't have to do anything with these. You just have to edit these and uh, the text. So uh, you can edit the source files, and after this, you have to publish. So oh, and also, if you know how to code, you can go from Design View to Code View, and you can see all the codes right here. Uh, it's not pretty clean, but uh, it's pretty clean compared to the other applications for making HTML5 ads or anything. So you can select the code view and read through all the codes right here and then change to your liking or you can go back to design view and design what you want uh it's like a preference thing so developers and designers can all make uh html5 ads here and after this you can select a uh, preview just choose your favorite browser and then click on preview and it'll come out as preview on the browser so you can check that out uh, after you finish making the ads and if it's all perfect then you can publish the ad so on publish uh, you can publish to double click studio which is uh, an application or a website and 
you can also uh, publish to Google Drive on your Google Drive. That's why you have to sign in there. Uh, you don't have to sign in. You can publish locally, which is what I did to show you the preview files on the zip file. So you click on publish locally, and then you have all these settings. So you sh uh, there are all of the settings like you can minify the files and inline local files, JS and CSS. And uh, I've chose inline so that you know it can all come to one HTML document. So you can just cross that out if you don't want it. And then there are CSS prefix options like no prefix, uh, Internet Explorer 10 plus, Firefox 16 plus, Opera 15 plus. And you can also flatten all the files and you know make the size all low. You can see all the size here. So uh, after this, uh, you have to uh, uncheck create zip files because it's not really needed. Uh, after you click zip files, you can. Uh, you can just show your preview unless you unzip it. So you should just probably check that out. And on the location, you choose the locations like uh, I've chosen preview files. And then the skyscraper, uh, skyscraper name is already here. So it'll make a folder called skyscraper 116 to 600, like that one here. And then uh, put all the files there. Or uh, if there's already a folder named skyscraper, and it will then. Uh, replace all the files inside it with the new files and new and updated files um, so I think after you uh, publish it uh, you can just upload it to your hosting or your Google Drive and you know use it on your AdWords campaign or maybe on your website and that pretty much covers it all up so thank you for watching this video this is Ingenious Artist and this is my HTML5 template on Code Canyon. Uh, I've I will put a link to the item uh, right in the video after it gets approved. So be sure to check that out and also like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And thank you for watching.